is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got my buddy Cameron coming over and I'm going to help him install a Borla catback on his 2017 Ford Focus ST, I think. I forget what kind of car it is. I don't care for Fords, but oh, speak of the devil. That was perfect timing. Look at this bad boy. Back it in. It is a Ford Focus ST. Pretty sure it's 2017. Stock exhaust right now. That's good right there. Give us a couple revs. Do a let's do it before before audio clip. Not bad. All right, so go ahead and shut her off, let her cool down. Let's take this bad beast apart. It's a 2017, right? 2017. Say what's up to YouTube. What's going on, YouTube? Cameron. Oh, is that factory? All that carbon? It is. Dang, all right, I didn't know that. All right, cool. Still American car, but let's get to it. First things first, we're gonna put the car up in the air on four jack stands, and we'll go from there. So we're under the car. The factory exhaust is welded here. Where the muffler, I guess it's like the axle back goes to the muffler. So we're gonna have to cut this with the sawzall so we can unbolt it over there at the, uh, after the cat and take this all off as one piece. And it's basically gonna come out in two pieces because it's all one piece from the cat to the muffler tips. So we're gonna send it with the sawzall right here. Next, you're gonna to want to remove your exhaust hangers. I use a pry bar like this and just kind of push it off. You're gonna have one on each side of the muffler and then you're gonna have one on this pipe that we just cut right over on that bend right there. Yep. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to take off this cross member. You're gonna need a T40 uh, Torx bit and uh, we'll just break these loose. And we're gonna take this cross member all the way off and then we can go ahead and unbolt. Actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna loosen these up but I'm gonna leave them on so that way when we unbolt it from the cat, it's not just gonna fall on us. So we'll let the exhaust rest on this cross member until we get those two bolts off. Okay, so these two bolts come in that connect the uh, little flex pipe here. They're two 15 millimeter nuts. I recommend using a deep socket and then going on the front side of this cross member. If you don't have a deep 15, you can use a 15 wrench and just come up here as well. Once you break them loose, they're pretty much hand tight. No, is once we get this uh, pipe off, you'll see there's a little uh, stainless steel gasket here. Make sure you don't lose that or bend it up or anything. We're gonna need it, so uh, it's got like, it stays on to these studs here. So we're, we're gonna have to get this exhaust out from under the car so we can put this on the workbench and really pull these out because without bending it, you'll see there's like a little uh, tab here. So we got the stock exhaust out and uh, we're just gonna see what it sounds like straight pipe from the cat back. I have a feeling it's gonna be ricey. Ooh, that, not bad. It sounds like a Fiat, dude. I see. All right, all right, that's enough. Let's put the Borla back on. Okay, so the first new pipe we're gonna put on is going to be the first one that comes in off of the flex pipe down here. I've already put my bolts in, and I don't know if you guys can see it, if I've put my gasket in place as well. So after that, the bolt is gonna be, the bolt head is a 17, uh, so we'll use a 17 millimeter wrench to hold the bolt head in place and then the actual nut is a 14 so we're going to 
to do next is just mount this bad boy up here. Make sure it's facing the right way. You want the end of this pipe to be facing down, not up. Okay, so we got our second pipe in. As you can see here, it's a pretty snug fit. You're gonna kinda have to put it in and rotate it, but it goes in from the front of the car to the back, kinda up over the axle there. But we're gonna leave these clamps loose until we get the rest of the exhaust on so we can use any play we can get. Same thing with the exhaust hangers. We're not gonna hang them just yet until we get the mufflers put on. All right, so we got our muffler on and our clamp is gonna be right here. You can see me wiggle it. It's kind of a tight squeeze, let's see if I can show you guys. So what I'm doing is, uh, the clamps use a 15 millimeter wrench or a nut as well. What we're gonna do is, I'm kinda gonna angle it like this so I can get to it from here. And I'm gonna use a couple extensions and a deep socket to get to it from back there. And then we're gonna go ahead and, we got the muffler mounted on the hangers just because they're there and it's easy to do so. But uh, we're gonna make, uh, tighten up these clamps and then we're gonna hang the mid pipe on the hanger and we are good to go. All right, so the car's back on the ground, but before he starts it, let me show you guys how these tips look. I like them a lot, actually. I think the rear looks pretty aggressive. All right, start it. Let's, uh, let's go wash up and take it for a spin. All right, sounds good to me. It's not like obnoxiously loud. With uh, yeah. All right, you're gonna go right on this main street right here, and then hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sorry, what? On this main street, you're gonna get on it and fucking rip it. Right. Give me a first, second, and maybe a third pull, depending on how much room we got. Oh, it's a red light. Perfect. Oh, there you go. Send it. I like it. It sounds good. First thoughts? I like it. I like it a lot. So. I got a smile on my face, don't I? So. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We are Done. an hour and 50 minutes in, and half an hour it took us. It took us half an hour to get the car up in the air because we didn't, weren't sure where the jacking points were, and the side skirts kind of cover the pinch weld, so it was a little sketchy. There you have it: how to install uh, Borla Catback on the Focus ST. Uh, here's a sound clip with the windows up. It's not it's not ricey, which I was a little worried about to be honest, but good choice Cameron. Thank you I appreciate it. All right, if you guys found this video at all helpful or even entertaining Make sure you hit that comment uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop a comment Let us know what you think and let us also know what you want to see next